Hello, this is Tyler Disney of Integral Group Oakland, and in this quick video I'm going to be showing how to make a uh, duct schedule for material takeoffs. So we're going to be making a schedule that automatically calculates how heavy a bunch of ductwork is going to be. So uh, let's hop right into it. I've got my project open, and as you can see I've got a layout of duct, and I'm curious as to how much the duct is going to weigh approximately. So I'm going to make a schedule for that. So first step is to go to the View tab, Schedules, Schedule Quantities, find the duct category, uh, and let's change the name to uh, duct weight schedule. Uh, everything else is fine. Hit OK. So we're going to need a few um, parameters. We're going to need the area parameter. We're going to need length. We're going to need comments. Um, we can actually take or leave that, but you'll see how I'm going to use that in a second. It's uh, optional. You just get a little bit more control over that. So those are the three parameters you need um, from the list that you already have. But then we actually are going to need uh, one more. We're going to need two more parameters, but one we have to make and one we're going to calculate. So let's add a parameter. And um, the parameter that we need is the pounds per square foot of duct because we have area here. Um, so if we know pounds per square foot, we can uh, calculate how much a piece of duct weighs. So um, you can use shared parameters for this video. I'm just going to use project parameter. Or I'm going to call it uh, pounds per square foot of duct. Uh, the discipline. So Revit is fairly picky about units. So you have to make sure that you're you have to make sure that your units match up, otherwise it will give you an error and not let you do what you want. So your options are either make the units work out or sort of hack them and make them not work out, but you know what they are, which is a method that I don't recommend. It'll tell you, you know, you have four square foot and you know that means pounds. Um, just don't go there. Try to make the units work out. So, okay, we have pounds per square foot of duct. The discipline, we're going to make structural and we're going to make the um, type of parameter area for us. So that's going to be pounds per square foot, um, and you can, you can set that. Let's group the parameter under mechanical and make it a type parameter so we don't have to enter it in for each piece of duct. Uh, hit OK. And then we're going to need to calculate a value, and we're going to call that pounds of duct. And it needs to be... Again, a force, so that's pounds. Um, and then we get to enter in the formula. So hit the um, ellipses sign, and you get to this window, which comes up, which lets you select from the parameters you already have. So that's going to be area of duct. Oops. Uh, so you've got the area, and then type in asterisk for um, times, and then select pounds per square foot of duct. Hit OK. And there's more work we need to do on the schedule, but let's just started to see what we get. Okay, so we have a lot of pieces of duct in this project. Um, it's pretty long and uh, painful schedule to look at. Um, so um, now let's look at the, uh, uh, the, the comments field. Right now it's not doing anything. Um, and what this schedule is doing is it's pulling in every single straight piece of ductwork in the entire project, which is a lot. I actually have um, ductwork on uh, all levels of this project. But let's just say that I just want to know about some of the ductwork. Uh, I just want to know about the ductwork that's on this level, level one, say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this schedule filter by comment. So to do that, I'm going to select here. I'm going to, well, first of all, um, I'm going to box select everything on the first floor. So we're going to hit the filter button. Uh, I'm going to uncheck everything except for ducks. And then, so I've got all of these selected. I'm going to go over to properties, comments, and add a parameter. I'm going to call it um, duct sched or schedule. Um, and now you can see uh, some of these pieces of duct have these, uh, this comment come up in them. Um, and 
go. So those are all my level one pieces of ductwork. So I'm going to go back into the parameters for the schedule. I'm going to hit the filter tab. I'm going to filter by comment. And so what I want it to do is say uh, filter by comments, and the comment has to equal duck skin. You could have it be whatever you want. That's kind of a dumb name, but um, I'm sticking with it. Uh, hit OK. And now the only ducks that show up in this schedule are ones with that parameter. So it's just these here, not ducks from the entire project, which is what we want. Okay, um, and now I have pounds per square foot of duct. Um, if I go in here and click on this, I believe it should show up. There we go. This is my parameter for my test run. But So here's the parameter we created, pounds per square foot of duct. Um, so I need to put in a, uh, a value for that. Uh, so I went to the internet and found an engineering toolbox that 20 gauge sheet steel is 1.5 pounds per square foot. So I'm going to enter that in, 1.5 pounds per square foot. I can already do that. I'm going to type in 1.5. Now you notice it's giving me KSF, which is actually not what I want. But um, this brings up a good point. So leave that alone. We're going to learn about units. So you notice that um, some of these ducks filled in and some of them didn't. That's because I changed the type for, I want to say, uh, this type of duct. And then this is going to be a different type of duct. Um, So this is a different type of duct, which I need to fill in um, the pounds per square foot on this too. So I'm going to say 1.5. Again, it's wrong. It's kips per square foot, which is very different than pounds per square foot. Um, and this is saying here that we're in kips. Um, so um, obviously, this isn't what I want. I want my schedule to show up in pounds per square foot of duct, and I want it to be pounds of duct. So I'm going to go back into my schedule. Um, and I'm going to actually go to the uh, formatting tab and I'm going to select pounds per square foot of duct and I'm going to hit the field format button. And I can keep uh, use project settings checked, but I'm going to uncheck that and change the unit to pounds per square foot um, and everything else is okay with me. And I'm going to go back to pounds of duct, field format that to pounds. All right. So obviously this is wrong, right? So before I was changing the parameter by going into the view and browsing through it and hitting edit type and, and changing the parameter here, which is actually kind of painful. I can just do it straight from here. Um, so I'm just gonna go 1.5. Make sure I get all of them. Okay, so I have all my ducks in my schedule set to 1.5 pounds per square foot, and they're all adding up what looks to be correctly. Um, there we go. There's the area, pounds per square foot, and I've got pounds over here. So that's great. So I've got a list of pounds for each piece of duct. I don't really care um, what each individual duct weight is. Remember, I'm just I'm trying to get the, the weight for all of the duct on this floor. So I'm going to go back into my schedule. And I'm going to go to formatting over pounds of ducts. I'm going to click calculate totals. And there's uh, one more thing I have to do in sorting grouping. I have to hit uh, grand totals. So there at the bottom of my schedule, you can see that all of the duct work that I have drawn on the first floor is 4,500.93 pounds, which is great. That's the number, I can use that. Um, the schedule is kind of unwieldy because it's got 124 or so rows in it. Um, I can actually go back in to uh, schedule properties, sorting grouping tab and uncheck itemize every instance. And that's just gonna collapse them all into one and uh, give me the result there, which is a lot nicer. So um, there you have it. Uh, the caveats here are that um, this isn't adding up the weight of fittings. So the weight of this fitting, the weight of that fitting, the weight of that fitting, the weight of that fitting, the weight of that. 
it's not in the schedule so that's going to be extra you're just getting a very gross sort of this is how much all of the straight bits of duct weigh that you have selected um, and obviously you can you can sort of see how you can do a lot of other things with uh, these schedules to pull out different types of information you want to know um, but that is pretty much it and um, yeah hope that helps thanks